This tutorial is to help you reorder slides and insert new slides where needed. As you can see, I just made a generic PowerPoint presentation with one, two, three, four, five, just so you can see the order of the slides that I'd like them to be. Now, if I wanted to make a change, let's pretend that uh, my slide number four is supposed to come before slide number three. If I wanted to do this, all I had to do is really click on slide number four on the left hand side. And if you could tell, there's a dark blue box that surrounds it. Then what I can do is I can click and hold my mouse button down and simply drag it above the number three. When I let go, you'll see now four is above three. Reordering slides can be very simple. Now, if you have many, many slides and you need to reorder them a lot, well, you might want to go down to somewhere below the slides. You see three small buttons. One says normal view, one says slide sorter view, and one says slide show from current slide. The middle one with the four squares on it, you click on that and you'll see a little square preview of your slides. You could also click on them and drag them in any order that you'd like it to be. And so sometimes you could fill this entire screen with different slides. And so reordering slides is very simple. If you like a slide that you really, you know, you want to keep, you could simply copy a slide and paste it and you'll see an identical copy of that slide appear in your presentation, which then you can move wherever you want. And so copying, adding, changing slides from one order to another can be quite simple. If you have an additional slide that you don't need anymore, you can simply right click on it and say delete slide. And so reordering slides can be very easy uh, just by dragging them around. Now if I go back down to my bottom here and click on normal view, I now have my slides in the current correct order. If I want to put something in between them, I click on slide number two and I want to go to insert new slide. And when I do that, it creates a blank slide for me. On the right hand side, the slide layout appears. And this is where I could add a title, a bulleted text, or a title with two bulleted texts. I could also do a title with a bulleted text and a picture, or a clip art, or a chart, or something to that effect. Many different slide layout options are available to you. Or you could simply click on this blank button, which erases everything, and then I could create my presentation. So adding a slide, inserting a slide, and moving slides can be very simple if you just break it down into small steps.